Okay, and so in this video, I'm going to step you through kind of how to do the unit conversion practice that's on slide 25. So um, up in the top, top right corner here of the slide, I have given you the con conversion chart. So this is kind of like a cheat sheet chart that'll help you convert between um, units in, in the metric system. And it kind of shows you the prefixes that you might see. So we said we're going to use kilo base units of either meters, grams, or liters. You might also see seconds um, as your base unit. And then also uh, centi and milli as the other two prefixes that you might see. Okay, so that means with kilo, we could see kilograms, we could say see kiloliters, or we could see kilometers. And all of those, we would be starting at kilo because we see the K, the lowercase K or kilo. If we see that, that indicates um, that we have, you know, a thousand of whatever the base base unit is. Um, it means you have a large amount. Um, centi means one one hundredth. Okay, so for centi, we might see centigrams or centiliters or centimeters. Okay, um, so if we see that lowercase c or centi, that tells us the units are currently in, in centimeters or centiliters or centigrams. Um, and then milli, um, you might see milligrams, milliliters, millimeters, or even milliseconds. Seconds, we really don't see anything except for milliseconds in the base unit of seconds. So that's why I didn't actually type on the, on the chart, seconds isn't on there. Um, but milli means one one thousandth, okay? So this, this chart is going to help you um, well, hopefully it will help you um, learn how to convert between units, okay? Because these are all related by like factors of 10, if you start in one spot, like let's say we were in kilograms, okay? And we wanted to convert into grams, which is a base unit, okay? You are one, two, three steps away, okay? So let's say we had um, 0 0.200 kilograms and we wanted to convert that into grams. Okay, how many grams does that equal? Well, since we started here at the top step and we moved down three steps, this tells us every time we go down a step, you need to multiply by 10. Okay, and multiplying by 10 is just moving that decimal point to the right to make the number bigger. So I'm gonna move my decimal place to the right three times, one, two, three, that has, that has multiplied this number by 10 three times or multiplied by a thousand. So I get 200 grams is my answer. My decimal place has moved three spots to the right. My number is three factors of 10 greater than it was before, okay? So 200 grams or 200 grams is equivalent, is equal to 0.2 kilograms. They're the same amount. We're just using a different form of the of the metric units um, to to report our amount okay so that's an example moving down the chart let's take a look at an example where maybe we're starting down here in centi okay and i'm going to actually erase this one so we can take a look um, at this next example so let's say we started in centi and we had um let's say 45 or 450 um, centiliters, CL, okay? So you'll notice it doesn't matter what this second no, second letter is in my units as long as it's a, it's a metric base unit. Um, the centi is what tells us where we are on the chart. So this, this first prefix tells us where we are on, well, the prefix tells us where we are on the chart. Okay, so 450 cent centiliters, and I wanted to know how many liters that is equivalent to. Well, I'm right here starting in centi, and I'm moving to the base unit of liters. Okay, so I'm moving up two steps. When I move up my stair staircase conversion chart, I need to divide by 10 every time I go up a step or move my decimal place to the left one time. Okay, moving the decimal place to the left 
And in 450, my decimal place would be after the zero. If I move my decimal place to the left, I've made it smaller by two factors of 10. So 4.50 liters is gonna be equal to 450 centiliters, okay? So that's how you use the chart. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of walk through one or two of the example problems that I have for you on slide 25 of your e-notebook. So again, let me go ahead and erase so that we can use our chart. Okay, so um, conversion question number one. Okay, you have 2.0 kilometers. Okay, and you're supposed to figure out how many meters that equals, how many centimeters that equals, and how many millimeters that equals. Okay. So let's start at kilo. So I remember I know that KM tells me that I'm at kilo. So the lowercase k stands for kilo. So I'm going to start here at kilo. The first thing I want to convert to is meters. Meters is here as a base unit. Meters does not have a prefix. Okay, there's only one, one let letter for the unit there. So I know I'm going to the base unit of meters. Okay, and that takes me one, two, three steps down. When I go down, I multiply by 10, the number of steps that I'm moving. So I've moved three steps down. And then so I multiply by 10 three times, which moves my decimal place um, to the right to make my number bigger. Okay, so if I move my decimal place from 2.0, I move it one, two, three. Well, here I have to have some filler zeros okay, to um, move that decimal place. My number is getting bigger. Remember when, like if I multiply uh, two by 10, I get 20. If I multiply 20 by 10, I get 200. So when you multiply by 10, you add, you add zeros um, if there weren't any zeros there and you're trying to move the decimal place to the right. So that's 2,000 meters. Okay, cool. So I'm now in 2,000 meters, okay, and now I got to convert 2,000 meters, okay, 2,000 meters into centimeters. Well, one, two, I'm moving down again, and I'm moving two steps down. So I got to move my decimal place that now is right here. I got to move it two more spots over to the right. So I got to fill in two more zeros. So I got one, two, three, four, five zeros now. Okay, and I can add my um, comma there. It's 200,000. Okay, so I'm in 200,000 centimeters. Cool. I'm not quite done with the problem, right? Because it asks me um, to then convert into um, millimeters. Okay, so let me change my color here so I have one more color. So we are here in centi. We got 200,000 centimeters and we want to convert into millimeters. Well, yet again, okay, we're going to move my decimal place to the right, okay? So I write down 200,000. My decimal place was right here. So I got to move it one more spot over. So I add another zero and I end up with 2 million millimeters. Okay, so that is an example. Um, that's actually question one on your um, on your slide 25 in your e-notebook. Okay, and hopefully that kind of helps you see how to use this conversion chart. Um, you have question two and question three to practice with. Question four is a little bit different um, because you're in minutes and needing to get to hours and seconds. So I'm actually gonna also go over question number four. And for most of that problem, we actually don't even need to use our conversion chart because we're, we have to use what we know about time. And time is a little bit different. We don't always, it's not base 10 necessarily for the conversions because there are 60 minutes in an hour um, and 60 seconds in a minute. So we are in the, looking at question number four now. So 36 minutes, and I'm try trying to figure out how many hours that equals, okay? 
So I know I'm starting with 36 minutes, okay? I know a special relationship between minutes and hours. I know that there is 60 minutes in one hour, okay? So when I'm converting from minutes to hours, I can use this relationship here that I know, okay? And I'm going to set up kind of a multiplication here. Um, so I want to cancel my units of minutes. So if I put 60 minutes and one hour on the top, this is just a special form of one because one hour is equal to 60 minutes, okay? So this is just a special form of one. So when I multiply anything by one, I'm left with the same amount of stuff that I started with, but this is what this conversion factor is doing. It's changing my units. So I have a conversion factor here that's a special form of one. Okay, this special form of one, if I multiply 36 minutes by one, I still, I still have 36 minutes, but this is a special version of one that will actually cancel my minutes, okay, and leave me with units of hours. So, right, if I have two fractions and I'm multiplying together, and this is really like 36 minutes over one, I didn't write the one there, but if I take 36 times one, I end up with 36, so I multiply everything on my numerator, I take one times 60, I still have 60, okay? So when I, I divide the two, I end up with 0 0.6, and my units are now just hours, okay? So cool, so that's going from 36 minutes to hours, 0 0.6 hours, okay? So the second part, so now I have done this part, okay? The next part, I, I either need to go from 0.6 hours to seconds or that's equivalent to 36 minutes still. So I'm gonna start with 36 minutes again and go from 36 minutes to seconds. Okay, so the second part of this problem, I'm going from 36 minutes and I wanna figure out how many seconds that is. Well, again, I know a special kind of relationship here. I know that there's um, 60 seconds in one minute. Okay, so I can use this special form of one as a conversion factor, kind of like I did in the previous part of the problem. So if I take 36 minutes, okay, I underline it because that's like a numerator and a fraction. I'm gonna have a conversion factor that's a fraction. So 36 minutes is equal to 36 minutes over one. Okay, um, I want to cancel my units of minutes. So one minute I put on the bottom is equal to 60 seconds I have on the top. Again, it's a special form of one, 60 seconds is equal to one minute. So I can get away with this. I can multiply 36 minutes by one. I still have, I still have that amount of minutes, but what this does is it'll change my units to seconds. Okay, so here, instead of dividing, I actually have 36 times 60 in my numerator. When I multiply across the bottom, I just have one. Okay, so when I plug this into my calculator, I end up with what 2,160 seconds. Okay, so um, when I'm filling in that for, then that's also equal to 0 0.6 hours. So now I know that 36 minutes is equal to 0 0.6 hours. Oops, I don't know, that's a weird, I don't know why I did that. I put my line and I was gonna write my 0 0.6 on it, but so 0 0.6 hours, which is equal to 2,160 seconds. Okay, and the final thing that you need to do is you need to convert seconds to milliseconds. The M means milliseconds. Okay, so that means you're gonna be in seconds in a base unit and you have to convert it into milliseconds. I already gave you some examples of how to use your conversion chart, so I'll leave that last part of the um, of question number four for you for you to do. So um, hopefully that was helpful. This last part, um, number six through nine, um, you guys can use a measuring device that you have at home. You can use the internet to to help you answer those questions. 
Um, I just want you to kind of get a feel for the size of, um, of these metric, metric units. Okay, so yeah, I hope that was helpful. Make sure you get one through four and six through nine done on slide 25.